Well, hey, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. <laughs> wherever you're seeing this, you're going to need to move over there. You're going to need to move over there. He's like, forget it. You got something in your pocket? There you go. All right. So tomorrow, <laughs> uh, so Friday at noon Eastern time, I'm going to do a different kind of live called True Feelings, True Intentions. All right. And um, that is going to be related to specific zodiac signs. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. You want to catch up with me tomorrow at noon? Please do. All right. So let's see where we go. This, I'm just pulled to be doing a reading tonight. I'm going to post this this evening and uh, let's see where we go. Charlie's got a haircut. Everybody, Charlie, like, you like Charlie's haircut? I don't have any more treats, so go lay down. <laughs> he eat, he's just eating a whole plate of his food and is just searching around for more stuff. So unless you want to be 117 pounds instead of 12 pounds, I, I suggest you go lay down. All right, let's see where we go. Bonus reading tonight, bonus reading for you. If you're called here because of the title, that is my intention, okay? That is my intention. All right, so let's see where we go. Desert. Seriously, go lay down, poo-poo. Desert, open heart. You like that? Open heart. Chameleon. Okay, so we are moving into a five year. We are 2020. Uh, if you're a numerology fan, he immediately lays down when I talk about numerology. That's, that's kind of funny. Because um, it's numbers and math and eek, right? So uh, we are in a four year, right? 2020, two, 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 and two is four. We have the zeros, the God protection, thank goodness. But fours are about structure. And um, with all the retrogrades, it's about restricting structure, uh, restricting um, getting things organized or having a plan, restricting that, you know, very much so this year. Moving into 2021, we are, um, that's a five year, two and two and one is five. Um, so that is about change. Okay, so lots of change happening. Um, be ready, be ready for change. And the way to do that is to understand um, that you have the capacity, the power to do that. I feel like this desert um, from the past is like not really having any opportunities or not really having um, not really having that much presented to to you. Okay, but with the open heart, lots of things come in, and so lots of change happening. This The desert, like when you look at the desert, the sand, it's the same, right? Forever and ever and ever, just, you know, the it, for miles and miles and miles, it looks just the same. Even though it's shifting and moving and stuff, it's still the same energy of it. It's the same everywhere. Chameleon is very much about um, things coming out of nowhere, changes happening, lots of lightning bolts here on this open heart, open... Um, uh, moving through a heart chakra awakening. Some of you could do that. Some of you could do it again. Okay. It doesn't necessarily just happen once. All right. Especially this year with things getting restricted and shutting down, people's hearts can have shut down. Okay. So I feel like it's gone into that desert where it's very um, cold at night, very hot during the day, extremes. And also um, that hot and cold, hot and cold, hot and cold has created a situation where the the heart just shuts down it's like i don't know what to expect of you so eh, i don't know but with the changes coming in i feel like there is going to be a, a sense of opening to the newness opening uh into compassion okay opening into that higher vibration of love and lots of change so you got to be ready for this change coming in we're in November, halfway through November. So there's only about, um, you know, uh, six weeks left of this year, maybe seven weeks left of this year. And uh, we're already feeling the shadow of the next year's vibration. So just so you know. All right, let's see where we go here. Messages for those watching, please. Messages for those watching. <sighs> okay. 10 underneath, 10 of wands. 
So some of you, I see this, I see Hierophant, I see Strength. Some of you have been dealing with a commitment that is very manipulative. And it's just, I feel like you have been dealing with the extremes, the hot and cold. Okay, I feel like you have been dealing with the extremes there. A uh, Justice, Ace of Pentacles, that's nice. Queen of Swords, seeing the future very clearly. Page of Cups, Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. All right, so... Um, for, uh, for a lot of you, I feel like you're just moving on. I feel like you're getting yourself nice and balanced. That's what Libra energy is. Balanced, and Libra is about partnership, okay? So <clears throat> this thing that happened or this thing that has been going on, this is sub not subconsciously, but this is sort of the energy of where you've come from, um, where things have been just overwhelming. Someone's trying to have power and control over you, okay? But you've come out of that stronger. You've come out of that stronger. Um, you may have just walked away from that or just decided, you know what, not going to win that game because I don't, you know, if you pl keep playing, you just keep playing. There is no winning. It's just, you know, forever and ever and ever we're just going to play. And so I feel like you've sort of come to the place of like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to let that go. There's no winning this. There's no coming out of it. I'm coming out of it as the strength card. So you can kind of just be like, good good for me yay for me okay um so the universe is offering you something new i feel like you see the cl future very clearly um you understand that um your ability to be balanced is the thing that's going to keep you on an even keel in the year of change okay the five year and this is actually this is actually a 50 all right so remember what i said about the 2020 year with the zeros that is the God protection. Zeros are God protection. It, it basically expands everything it touches. Zero is like, and exactly here. So intentionally expanding on financial capabilities or stability, all right, is something you might want to keep your eye on. The, the justice card here of being balanced in that and saying, yes, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to create this. New opportunities. So change, you know, change doesn't always... When you say change, sometimes people go like, oh, I don't want change, even if stuff sucks. I hear, still hear people saying, eh, I don't want change. So can you shift into that idea of like, okay, yeah, what isn't working for me right now? And what can I, what is ahead? What can, what can I um, attract in that is powerful and positive for me? And this is like the zero, okay? And so I started to say that this is a 50 card, five zero. So whatever zero touches, it expands on. So intention is important. Intentionality is important. Queen of Swords. I want to expand on my own ability to create stability. My own ability to be, uh, and these are swords. So this is about being agile. Your mind, you know, being able to deal with the twists and turns of things. Right. My intention is to um, be sure footed in the face of any kind of change that's coming. The person that you're dealing with, I feel like um, may apologize for their inability to get out of their own way. <clears throat> They'll apologize for their own ability to be stuck. Some of you will deal with that. Some of you will deal with somebody who doesn't see themselves as stuck, doesn't see it as a problem, but they want to reconnect with you and they know you're moving on. So they're going to say it anyway. They're going to say, you know, I apologize. Um, can we, you know, sort of talk again or whatever. And then they're going to do nothing about it. And then it's going to still be the same. It's going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I feel like that, there's change coming in that they're going to communicate, but then there's no change there. So you're going to need to see very clearly your own intentionality of moving forward, your own, what is going to create balance and stability for you. Is this balance and stability for you? Um, not when someone else is driving the boat. I feel like you got to drive your own boat here. So 
I feel like you start off with this very intentional movement forward. There's seven of pentacles here and then the knight of cups shows up. So <clears throat> this person expands on the page of cups to the king of, to the knight of cups here. Okay. But it takes a long time. Nine of pentacles, six of cups. Yes. Star and three of swords. So this person is going to come back around. I feel like you're this nine of pentacles. Okay. You're very stable, very solid. They may come to you because their life is unstable. And that to you is like very manipulative. Okay. And so they come back around for healing. And yes, 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 of course. Healing this broken heart. Yes, yes, yes. Of course I want to do that. Um, and I feel like it's... You just let them go for good this time. Okay? Because this person is unable to move off. And now this is a happy, happy thing to do. You're not interested in... You're like, okay, uncle forgiveness but here's the twist the plot twist is that every time in the past that you come to me and with your with apologies or with with let's start again everything like that I say yes and then things go back into this so this time I'm gonna say yes to the apology and instead of going into that two of Pentacles I'm just gonna move on okay I'm just gonna move forward so there's like a clearing of the air here. That feels good to me. Because, so what happens is, you know, you just say, okay, yes, let's, all is forgiven. Okay, all is forgiven. I'm so glad. And, you know, we'll clear the air from feeling out in the cold and feeling this heartache. And I'm going to do what is right for me, which is move forward into um, something else. Okay, I feel like you're, you're changing the game here. Okay, big time changing the game. I like the Leo energy here that I'm seeing. This table is unstable. <laughs> this table is unstable. Um, Ace of Pentacles and Sun. I like the Leo energy that's coming in for you. Leo and Libra energy here. Okay, very stable in relationships and letting go of someone who creates instability. This person actively does that. I don't even know that it's conscious except for the fact that there's this. This makes me feel like this person make, makes you jump through a lot of hoops so they can feel like they're in power, they're in control. So now you're changing the game here. Again, the change card coming through, the chameleon. And you're like, so they're going to be a little bit surprised by this because I had this image the other day. I don't know if um, those of you who ever watch Risky Business in your life, okay? It's a 1980s, 1990s movie. 1990s <clears throat> Tom Cruise and he has his dad's Porsche and he has Rebecca De Mornay in the car with him and Miles is in the back seat and Guido the Killer Pimp is chasing them and they go back to they drive like crazy all the way up to Evanston which is pretty far from where they started at the Drake Hotel in Chicago all the way up um, to Evanston or Glencoe or wherever they are and their little hometown, their little town, there's a triangle where you can just go around and around and around. So Tom Cruise drives like crazy around and around and around and around and around and around. And so Guido keeps following them and keeps thinking. He Basically, Tom Cruise fools him into thinking that he's going to keep doing this. And one time, he doesn't. And Guido doesn't pay attention to it, doesn't see him go, and keeps doing this. Okay? So... You have been Tom Cruise. You're Tom Cruise in this scenario where you keep doing this. You keep, you know, on the turnstile with this person. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. And now the next turn you take, you go straight. And they keep going around in a circle. And you're like, okay. So all, all, all is forgiven and now you're free, okay? You have done everything you needed to do. There's no more baggage hanging out there. There's no more unfinished business. None of that energy exists. And where, when you kind of keep going, 
when you, instead of taking that turn, you keep going. I feel like this person is, it's going to take them a while to figure it out. <laughs> okay. It's going to take them a while to figure out. And I do feel like they will feel sad and they will feel left out. But what are you going to say to me? I've already, we've already done the forgiveness thing. I've already said yes. Isn't that what you wanted? You asked for forgiveness. I gave it. You're freeing yourself because in the past, you believed that them saying, I'm sorry, led to another chance. And they were never going to do that. They were always going to go into the cul-de-sac. Another chance for moving forward. Instead, you're like, okay, I'll take your apology. And now I'm just moving straight. Because you, you got to listen to what this person is saying to you. I'm sorry for doing what I did. Okay. They're not asking necessarily for another chance. Even if they do, I'm going to say to you, I don't feel like they're capable of getting out of their own way here. All right. So we're going to continue on with this, but I don't, I feel like you with your open heart and compassion and just be like, you know what? This person can't get out of their own way. I, on the other hand, am moving forward. Thank you for your apology. On I go. Onward. Onward. Okay. So I see uh, Aquarius here. You might be dealing with an Aquarius, a Leo. There's a ton of Leo here. Leo may be the future here because you're Leo here and then there's Leo. So I see Aquarius. Um, I see Libra. I see Taurus. I see Leo. Virgo, Cancer. Okay, I'll take a look at those those signs in the extended. If you like the content I make, please feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit that like button because then other people get to see it. So thank you for that in advance. If you want to continue on with me, the link is below for the rest of this reading. And I'll see you over there in this really weird bonus kind of, I don't know why I did this reading, but messages for somebody. Okay. All right. See you over there.